Welcome Capricorn to your weekly reading. This is for the 15th to the 21st of May. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. We're going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area that you should focus on. The third row is going to be the unexpected energy coming in. The fourth row is going to be messages and advice from spirit. And finally, our fifth row is going to be the possible outcome of the week. Capricorn, this is a collective reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. We are going to start off here with this justice energy and we're going to get your clarifier. So we just want to see what this justice energy is for Capricorn, please. And you have the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, that's very nice energy and quite big, significant energy coming through. What we are seeing at the beginning of the week, Capricorn, with the Justice card coming through, lets me know that any of my Capricorns who are involved in some kind of legal matter, this could also be a negotiation, it could be signing a new contract, anything like that in any area of your life. We see the Justice card coming out and it's presenting very positively. It's presenting as the energy of having an outcome in your favor, especially with the Wheel of Fortune coming out underneath. The Wheel of Fortune confirms for us that whatever this is for you, there is a conclusion with this energy and the Wheel of Fortune brings in positive change. The Wheel of Fortune speaks to us of change in our favor. So whatever this could be for you, and Capricorn, it can come through in any area of your life, from the smallest thing, be like finding the best deal on a mobile phone contract, or it really could be signing a contract for a home, a lease, buying a home. If you are in any kind of legal situation, there is a ruling in your favor. You name it. But what we really see is something positive in your favor and things then change. Very positive. Let's look at the magician energy that is sitting in the area that you should focus on. So we now want to see what is this magician energy for Capricorn, please. And you have got the Seven of Swords. Okay, what we are seeing here with the magician coming in, I feel whatever this energy is that's coming through is something that you have really wished for, prayed for and spent time doing so, because with our magician energy, I have the energy of something manifesting, something coming into being, and we saw that right from the beginning of the week. With the Seven of Swords coming in, you are being asked to be very smart about this. I feel you've been incredibly smart and strategic leading up to this energy. But we have this now coming through in the area that you should focus on. So it tells me while this manifests, while this is all playing out, and it is playing out in your favor, don't drop your guard. Not that I see anything bad happening, but it's just telling me, keep your smarts about you. See what people are doing. See what perhaps what the other person is doing. Are they keeping their word? Are they meeting their deadlines? You know, it'll be so different for everybody. You know, there might be certain things in the contract that needs to be stressed again, but don't take your eye off the ball just yet. Something is really manifesting, but keep alert. You know, sometimes people just forget things. So this is the energy of keep your finger on the pulse and make sure everything is going according to plan exactly as it should. 
Let's move on now and see what this Nine of Wands energy is that is sitting in your unexpected. So we now want to see what is this Nine of Wands energy for Capricorn, please. Let's see what we have here for you. The Ace of Wands. Capricorn, this is such positive news. I feel leading up to this, you might have been feeling the Nine of Wands energy. And can you see, our Nine of Wands chap is quite exhausted. It's the energy of feeling drained, fatigued, like how much longer is this going to go on for? Although we, we do see this transpiring and happening this week. This is just letting me know that from the energy of Nine of Wands, feeling exhausted, what happens is the hand of God comes in and gives you the wand of infinite possibility. And this is the energy we see here, the outcome we saw right at the beginning of the week, Capricorn. Now this wand is the hand of God coming in and saying, here Capricorn, Here's what you wished for. Here's what you worked for. Here's what you prayed for. You're getting it. You're getting what you want. Now, as with all aces, it's up to you to take this wand and it's your turn to run the race, right? To develop it, grow it, nurture it. It's just a wand filled, brimming with possibility. And now you take this, my dear Capricorns. This is what you wanted. This is what you've worked for. This is what you've been exhausted about, right? This is, you've put so much time and effort into it. This is what's drained you. This is what's made you tired. But now it all opens up and anything and everything is possible. So unexpectedly, you're going to have this beautiful boost of Ace of Wands energy. Let's go ahead now and see what this Empress energy is that is sitting in messages and advice from Spirit. So we want to see now what this Empress energy is for Capricorn, please. The Queen of Wands. Capricorn, this is wonderful. First and foremost, Divine is coming through and they're wanting you to know that whatever this is for you, the outcome is going to put you into the position of feeling like the Empress. It doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine, it's the energy of the card we are speaking about. And our Empress is all about ultimate abundance, really being in a position where we get what we want and we are content and happy and we feel good and we look good. Divine is also asking you this week to work with Queen of Wands energy. It doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine, it's the energy of the card we are speaking about. And our Queen of Wands is a very interesting queen because on the one hand, she's incredibly dynamic. She goes out there, she makes things happen. She speaks to people, she's got ideas, she's creative, she's innovative. And on the other side, she works with spirit. That's our little ginger cat there sitting at her feet, representing her connection with spirit. And that, my dear Capricorns, is all about prayers, rituals, meditations, visualizations, whatever is easy and comfortable for you. Divine wants you to work with them, to co-create whatever this incredibly auspicious energy is that is coming in for you. They want to partner you. So it's a beautiful message because we really see you having the most powerful and strongest partner of all. Right, let's go ahead now and see what this Six of Pentacles energy is that is sitting in the possible outcome of the week. So we want to see now what this Six of Pentacles energy is for Capricorn, please. And what do we have here? The King of Wands. Capricorn. 
you, my dear Capricorn, are going to be receiving something that you have prayed for, that you have wanted. We have the King of Wands coming out here, complementing your Queen of Wands energy. And above it, we have got the Six of Pentacles, you being given something by the King of Wands energy. Whoever this is that you're working with, they are coming through as King of Wands. So what is lovely to see here is the person that this involves, right? This whatever it is for you, really are a go-getting kind of energy, an entrepreneur. They see the bigger picture. They're really going to come through. Here's our scale. Here's our scale. You are going to get the outcome that you want out of this situation. My gosh, this is incredibly positive energy. And whoever this person might be, I really feel there's going to be a good feeling between you, no matter what this energy is for you, if it's signing a contract, if it's a negotiation, if it's something to do with your partner, if it's a marriage and engagement, whatever it is, Capricorn, with this energy here, my gosh, what an outcome coming through for you. Right, let's go ahead now and get your spirit animal for the week. So we want to see now, what is Capricorn's spirit animal for this week, please? What is Capricorn's spirit animal? And you have got number 11, butterfly spirit, transformation is beautiful. So number 11, which is a high vibration number, is your auspicious number for the week. Any combination, any variation of the numbers one, please consider very lucky. The butterfly is your spirit animal. So wherever the butterfly comes up for you, this too is a blessed sign. And you have got the message, transformation is beautiful. We saw this right from the beginning of the week, my dear Capricorns, when the Wheel of Fortune appeared, the Magician appeared, and we saw you releasing out of Nine of Wands energy and becoming the Empress in this scenario, however it relates to you. Wow, this is going to be a very good week for you, my dear Capricorns. So that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.